Hello everyone, my name is Manuel Urueña from Independent Physics and this is a very short video about a recent thought on the phenomenology of modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND. We have explained MOND in our previous videos, but in short, it is a primitive theory of dynamics with which one can fully explain the rotation of all galaxies without the need for any dark matter with a single free parameter for all of them. This parameter is a constant of acceleration scale, and we all think, of course, that it is not fundamental but derived from a complete theory which explains MOND. And this is the key question. Where does MOND come from? Well, Milgram himself, and as I recently discovered, Pavel Grupa, who has a great presentation about the problems of the standard model of cosmology and in particular of dark matter, both seem to agree that MOND comes from the quantum vacuum as the agent exerting inertia. This function mu, which transits um, gra um, the gravitational rule from the Newtonian regime into the extremely weak field regime, can be derived from the quantum vacuum, as shown by Milgram. So in, in MON, you need to define your acceleration with your absolute acceleration. So where is the frame that, that, that will provide this? So I thought maybe it's the vacuum, okay, the quantum vacuum. And I have a problem with this, which I want to point out in this video. What is the evidence we have for MOND having an origin in the quantum vacuum? The only evidence is that the acceleration scale constant matches a relationship with the cosmological constant of dark energy. But this cosmological constant is only measured indirectly, and no one knows what dark energy really is, not even if it comes from a non-zero energy of the vacuum. In contrast, MOND's acceleration scale constant matches the gravitational acceleration or field intensity calculated from the mass and observable radius of the universe, and these values are directly measured, although approximately. This points directly toward local dynamics being affected by global mass distributions and missing boundary conditions a la Mach. And yet, most of the community in MOND prefers the quantum vacuum interpretation. Why is barely no one working on MOND and Max principle? I searched through the literature and there are very few papers trying to link MOND and Max principle. And even though I'm happy that there were people working on this, their work is so unsatisfactory that I had to write a paper myself about MOND and Max principle, which is far more complete than any other work out there. You have the paper available for free in archive, I invite you to read it, even if you don't know about Max principle, because I explained it from the very beginning and I really hope it inspires the community for alternative explanations of MOND. Thank you very much and see you next time here in Independent Physics.